In this video, I'm gonna discuss a forgotten exercise that is very good for the quads. My name is Epidor Rosario and I am a holistic nutritionist here in New York City. And in this channel, I discuss everything about nutrition, fitness, and exercise that help you melt the fat off. And if you're into that, please consider subscribing. So there's this forgotten or underrated exercise that you can do for your quads that many people don't know about. And that would be the barbell hack squat, right? Every single gym or most gyms have a hack squat machine. My gym does not have a hack squat machine. So if I want to do hack squats, this is the only way I can do it. Many people don't know that there's a hack squat variation that they can use uh, that looks just like a deadlift. But instead of using your hamstrings and glutes, you're going to use your quads, right? So the way that you perform this movement, so you're going to stand like a conventional deadlift, but the only difference is that the bar is behind you almost touching your calves, right? You always want to keep your back straight just like a deadlift. The only difference from this and a conventional is that your butt's going to be a little bit lower, closer to a sumo stand, right? When you do sumo, your butt is a little bit lower than a conventional, right? That comes to the lift. So you want to do the same thing here and then you're going to pull through and you almost want to squeeze your back at the top of your movement, right? So even though it looks like a deadlift, it's very quad dominant. You don't use many hamstrings or glutes at all, right? If you squeeze your quads at the top of the movement, you don't have to squeeze your quads, but if you do, you're going to feel your quads, right? And you might say, my gym has a high squat machine. Why do I need to do a barbell variation? Well, the barbell variation has many other benefits that the machine doesn't, right? When you're on the machine, yes, you have to brace your core, you have to stay tight, but not to the extent that you would do with a barbell, right? Aside from working your legs, you're also going to be working your core, you're going to be training your back, you're going to be hitting your traps really hard, just like a deadlift food, you're also going to be training your grip and your forearms, right? Because you're going to be in a similar position, you're going to be working most of the muscles that a deadlift would work, uh, aside from the hamstrings and glutes, right? Also this lift, because it's so similar to a deadlift, it's also going to train your speed from the bottom, right? If you compare my sumo deadlift and my conventional deadlift to this variation, you can see that I pull very quickly with this lift. Not that my other lifts are really bad off the floor, but if you're really bad off the floor, especially with sumo deadlift and you want to increase your speed, this is a good way that you can increase your speed from your deadlift right? Because it's a good variation and you're never going to get this benefit from a half squat machine. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button notification bell because I'll be making videos like this every single week to inspire you to become the healthiest version of yourself using the power of nutrition. And if you want to learn something new, here are two videos in the screen that you can learn something new right now. I love every single one of you.